And that heat continues over the next several days. We stay nice and dry, feeling like summer, but we do start to see a pattern flip by the end of the week into your weekend. At the moment though, beautiful blue skies, a live look out of our 13 WRX camera. Even the trees are staying pretty calm, not seeing them moving or swaying much. We have a little to no breeze as well, so that summer-like weather will continue as the temperatures keep on climbing. At the moment, a lot of us making their way through those low to mid 80s. 82 degrees in Winnebago, 83 in Sublette, 78 in Roscoe, so not too far behind, but we're gonna of course continue to climb finding ourselves in the mid to upper 80s for our afternoon. So yet another beautiful sunny day. On top of that, despite our temperatures still climbing, your dew points will actually stay within the 40s, if not low 50s. So we're warm, but we have dry air in play. Not going to be dealing with that humidity and of course, plenty of sunshine and little to no breeze. We see conditions staying quiet and calm overnight. Temperatures do drop into those low to mid 50s. Could be a couple degrees cooler for some, but luckily we stay clear clear and that's going to give us perfect viewing for the partial lunar eclipse. That's going to kick off at about 9:12. That's when the partial eclipse will begin. You'll see maximum eclipse happen at about 944, but notice it won't be a whole lot. About 8 percent of that shadow will be over the moon and it wraps up at 10 15. But again, luckily we're nice and clear, so you're going to get a good view. Otherwise, we continue to heat back up into your day tomorrow and the next day and the day after that because we're still dealing with what we call a Rex blocking pattern. So that's what's set up just to the east of us. That's when we have an area of high pressure just to the north of a strong area of low pressure. Notice the jet stream comes right in between those two systems, kind of acting like a traffic jam. So not much is going to happen and blocking off those westerlies to get a lot of this moving. But surely and slowly that starts to happen once we get closer to the end of our week and into the weekend. So I just took it to Saturday. Notice that all shifts further to the east and then we'll start to see a bit of a change here back at home. That's going to start off with the chance for rain late. Thursday early into Friday morning. That'll be our next best chance. Fairly low, not going to see hefty totals from that either, but something that will follow are also cool temperatures. Now, Thursday night won't be the only chance for rain. Let's take a look at future track. Here's the rest of our Tuesday, our Wednesday, and even most of Thursday. It's really not until Thursday night, early Friday. Do we get that first chance of some rainfall? That's as a cold front comes through. We stay dry for most of Friday and even Saturday, but Saturday night into Sunday, we get yet another potential potential for some rain. So at least there is some activity on the horizon. We are in need of some of that rain. But as far as the next few days go this week, still quiet, still summer, still hot. Mid to upper 80s there. That takes us all the way through Friday. But in your most accurate 10 day forecast, as we filter in some of those chances for rain, we'll also start to see our temperatures dropping. Next week, we'll find ourselves in those mid to low 70s. Fitting enough with the first day of fall coming in on Sunday. Manny.